Hey everyone, in this video we're going to install Mistral and run it on our local computer. Use the LM Studio to run it with a nice interface like this. Now it's speaking to us uh, like a pirate and we're also going to run it from Python uh, using streaming responses. We're going to be using OpenAI but only change the API base, base to our local server. So to download this, just go to lmstudio.ai. Link will be in the description. Download it for your system. And after that, install it. Then launch your application. Then you'll be at this home screen. You can search for models here or actually just browse it. This has all kinds of models like Code Llama, Open Orca. I mean, really uh, anything you can look for. I believe everything is here, including 70 billion Llama. I've typed in Mistral and searched for it. Here are all the Mistral variations. Okay, so I've downloaded this one. Uh, here is some ratings for it as well. The bloke Mistral 7B Instruct version 0 0.1. When you click on these, then you get the quantized, different quantized versions of uh, the models. This will run on a CPU just fine. You don't need to have a GPU. Uh, when you load the model, it's going to load the entire model into the RAM. There are some settings for that. But essentially, uh, it was running fine on my 13-inch Samsung uh, Book 3, which really has no graphics power. So I you just click on the one that you want to download. I believe the higher quantization, the better the model is, perhaps. But I just downloaded the minimal one uh, also. But you can search for Llama, and you can actually find the 70 billion Llama model, if you like that one better. Uh, here we go. 70 billion chats uh, so it's quite large but if you have a system with lots of ram this should work fine possibly because these are the quantized models once you've once you've downloaded it then you go to chat and you select your model from here then it'll mount it okay and it's actually using three gigabytes of ram if you look at my computer it took up three gigabytes of RAM, this is, I'm on my other laptop, which still have an RTX graphics card. So I believe you can also enable GPU and then you can chat with it here. Okay, but the cool thing is you can actually go to the local inference server. And then after you've mounted the model, you can start the server and just allow your, uh, you know, firewall or whatnot to uh, uh, give, give exception to this. And then you can use this code, which I have modified to, uh, to allow streaming responses and also colorful printing. When we run this, now we'll be able to chat with this model, which is running on our computer. I'm going to ask it, hi there, what's a Python function to calculate the nth fib number? You can see it running in real time in streaming responses. It's, I mean, it's almost as fast as GPT-4, maybe half as fast. In this case, I mean, I believe the better your computer is, the faster it should run. Here it is writing Python code. So this is all very wonderful and uh, very effective, as a matter of fact, and cheap. The code file for this will be available for free at my Patreon. But while you're there, just take a look. I have 160 exclusive posts that are uh, projects that are available. Just consider me as your personal research assistant into the world of large language models. I do this all day long. This is like my full time job. And if you don't have the time and want to explore as many projects and cutting edge ideas as possible then uh, you can watch all my videos you can find which projects i have available i have 200 and plus at www.echohive.live you can watch them and learn uh, maybe get inspired uh, also if you become a patron you will not only be supporting me but you will have instant access to all the code downloads so uh, i do this i post a new project every two three days so you'll have something to play with and get inspired by uh, or you know, two or three times a week. Uh, links to my website and to my Patreon will be in the description. I explore different things such as vector DBs. I built the agent called Auto AGI. I do fine tuning work. I've explored Llama index and LangChain in depth, and also Autogen. It also is instant search. Okay, so just take a look. Thank you. So this is going to be a, a quick video. But so this is how it works, right? Essentially, I hope. The whole thing was clear. Uh, if you go back to the model, see if you wanted to chat again, we have to stop the server. Let's stop the server, go back to chat. As you see, there's some model configurations here, such as inference parameters. You can adjust all these 
And also, uh, you can save these as presets and then you can load it later. So you can actually experiment with different settings. See, and if you come to the local server here, we can see that there's a checkbox to keep the entire model in RAM. Uh, also, I believe hardware settings, you can select on GPU acceleration. Let's just do that because since this particular laptop I'm on actually has GPU. And let's start the server again. I do have an RTX 2060 GeForce here. It's six gigabytes of RAM. Let's see if that makes uh, much of a difference. Uh, let's ask. I am. I just asked to turn it into OOP, uh, and it seems to go faster. I mean, not much faster. Let's see if they're using some extra GPU power. Uh, definitely some. I guess we're using some video encode. Uh, hmm, interesting. So I, I didn't see that much of a difference, but I mean, so you can adjust these settings, right? CPU threads. Maybe you can you can use more threads. Uh, if you have uh, multi-threaded, right? If you have many cores, maybe adjust that. And here is uh, your models, which you have downloaded. I currently have only Mistral, but like I said, there are so many models available here. Uh, so you can just browse it and search for them. Let's quickly review the code. So we are using OpenAI, right? The requirements is OpenAI and term color libraries, term color so we can print colorfully in the terminal. And uh, we do that, and we do, the difference is, is we're not going to use OpenAI's API base, but we're going to actually send it to our local host. The port, I believe, 123 is configured right here. You can change this if you like. After that, uh, there's some prefix and suffix is defined, I believe, because these are completion models. So uh, when we actually insert the prompt, in, like right here, we format it. And for Llama 2 chat, the prompt format is like this. You might want to do some search research on it. Then we just define a comp get completion uh, function with a prompt, which is going to take in a prompt and a model, which is going to be local model, set your temperature and other parameters, perhaps format the prompt. And here's the messages list. And then we just call it just like we would call GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And this is the, this is to deal with the streaming responses. You can also set this to false uh, and use it normally. And then we just create a loop. We take in user input, get the response, and then just make it a new line. So there's separation. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.